Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to the restorative series. I must say, I'm very grateful that you guys chose the restorative series for this one to come next because I'm having a really nice time teaching it and I really like the practice. It was something that I only got into later on and I was kind of forced into it when I was, I'd been practicing and then I went to India to do my training and it was only then that I really was exposed to restorative and not really by choice, it was something that was really part of the training. And I'm very glad that someone really sat me down and explained that it's a really important practice and you can add it in and it's a totally different thing. And for me, I didn't really like restorative to begin with. It was slow, it was boring, it was painful, and I, and I didn't really allow myself the time to slow down. So this is me telling you that it doesn't happen immediately. You need to allow yourself the time to slow down and this is the space for it. You are in the right place to experience that gentle journey into stillness. So we're trying to relax our nervous systems. We're trying to synchronize our breath with our movements and really be with the journey from kind of a busy day into a more calm space. And that process from going to A to B is where the lessons are learned, is where you learn to apply yourself and to train your sense of attention where you can create this mindfulness behind your awareness. So today's class is a 20 minute all levels practice. You don't need any props or blocks. I do however have my couch pillow here. So if you have a pillow or a bolster, it really just does help with softening in. I'll show you how to use it. And I'm gonna create a lot of space for you in the practice to really be with your breath. So not as much uh, instruction as I normally would. So when you get into the posture, I'm gonna encourage you to settle in and close your eyes and experience the physicality of the posture and whatever comes up instead of worrying maybe too much about what it looks like. And if you fancy seeing any behind the scenes of kind of what goes into making these videos, you are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram. And if you'd like to join in on the journey and support this channel, you can always hit the subscribe and notifications bell. It really, the support really does go a long way with the algorithm. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can grab your mat. And let's begin. Hey, welcome back. Well done for getting to your mat. When you're ready, you can make your way into a seat. And if you are near a wall, um, I might suggest that you move your mat there. I'm gonna do a legs off the wall pose at the end. Um, but if you're not near a wall, then it's fine. We'll put you into happy baby, that's totally fine. Bring your hands into your knees, take a deep breath in. With a long exhale, let your eyes come to close. And when you're ready, arrive into stillness and embody your attention. So just feel into your body, whatever that means to you. And we're gonna practice patience with our winding down today. So really softening into our breath and into our bodies and softening into your mind's eye, which is another cool concept that really helps me in terms of noticing if you are carrying tension in your sense of awareness or in, in your mind and just trying to keep it nice and soft as you kind of step back and gently witness whatever comes up for you. Inhale to fill. Exhale to release. See if you can create a bit of sound as you sigh out. Inhale, nice and slow. Feel your belly expand, sit up tall. Exhale to release and shake it off. Inhale, arms rise up to the sky. Touch above your head to point. Exhale, lower them through to your heart center. If you'd like to, you can take a moment just to set an intention for your class. This can be anything you like. It could be for you or for someone else. And when you're ready, you can bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. And today we will begin on our backs in Supta Parakonasana, having the soles of your feet to touch. Slowly lower yourselves down, rest your right hand onto your belly and your left hand onto your chest. Inhale. Exhale, close your eyes and allow gravity to do all the work. So really just surrendering to your mat. And seeing if you can breathe into your right hand. So deep belly breaths or yogic breaths where you're kind of encouraging deep belly breaths, bypassing the chest. Long, smooth and soft.
inhale wind remover on the left hand side so keeping your right leg out draw your left knee into the chest give it a good squeeze still keeping your left toes tucked your eyes closed and your chin tucked inhale extend your right leg out Exhale, lower your left knee over to the right side and gaze gently up and over the left shoulder, breathing length across your spine. Last long breath in, last breath out. Inhale, draw your left knee into your chest. Give it a good squeeze. Now bend your right knee, bringing your heel back to supta. So having it on the outer blade of the right foot. And then exhale, place your left foot down, supta soles of the feet to touch. Keeping your left knee as it is. Draw your right knee to the chest. Flex your right toes. Hold and breathe. Inhale, extend your left leg out, flex your toes. Exhale, lower your right knee over to the left side, supine twist, look over your right shoulder. See if you can soften the breath. Allow that to wash over your eyes and your jaw. Last breath in, and a last breath out. Inhale, draw your right knee into your chest, flex your toes. As you exhale, bend your left knee, and with your inhale, place your right foot back down, supta, soles of the feet to touch. Draw your hands onto the outside of your legs, bring your knees in together, and you can window wiper your legs from left to right, just waking up the hips. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a good squeeze and rock from front to back, slowly waking up the spine, making our way into a seat. Nice, extend your right leg out, bring your left leg in for Janu Sisasana. Got some options here, if you have a pillow or anything soft and fluffy, you can always place it on top, you can stack them as high as you like, you want to just get it to a point where you can rest. If you don't have any, that's also totally fine. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, twist towards your straightened leg. Shift forward and release. See if you can keep your eyes closed. And again, allow this, your, yourself the time to gently soften into the posture. Perhaps it may be a little bit tight or a little bit strong in the beginning, but roll through a few breaths, be patient and trust that over time, and no time at all, it will soften and ease. Last breath in, gentle exhale to relax. Inhale, roll up. If you have a pillow, you can place it behind you. We're gonna keep our, oh, sorry, we're gonna bend our right leg towards the back of the mat. 
Now roll your calf out the way before you clamp it in. Extend your left leg out, flex your toes. We're going to gently lower ourselves onto our back, feeling a stretch in the right quad. Find a comfortable space. This is quite tense, so if you have to stay up onto your elbows, that's fine. If this is enough, that's cool. Find a space that's breathable and close your eyes. This is often a really neglected posture, but really nice to work into. We won't be here for very long, just a few breaths. And now's the time you really can apply yourself in terms of just focusing on the area and breathing softness, trying to relax into your right quad. One more breath in, long breath out. If you're on the back, you can gently make your way out using your hands to support you and extend your right leg out and pat your hamstrings down. We're gonna move into Jan Nusi Sasana on the left side. So left leg extension, right leg out. If you have a, anything, you can place it underneath your right leg if it is up into the sky. Place your bolster if you have one or your pillow. If you don't have any pillows or anything and your hamstrings are tight, rather bend your knee and see if you can rest your head onto your leg. Still feeling a nice stretch in the hamstring and over time you can just slowly straighten it out. So make your way there. Inhale to reach your arms up. With a long exhale, shift forward and release. Now find a comfortable space wherever that feels good and rest in stillness. Last breath in, long breath out to release. You can always place your pillow behind you and take your left leg, bend it to the back to begin with and remove the flesh of the calf. So roll it out, it just creates a bit of space and takes a bit of pressure off your knee. Extend your right leg out. Find a variation of this which feels good and slowly lower yourself down until you can find a breathable spot. Close your eyes and breathe softness into your left quad. And another nice trick is if you place your right hand onto your belly, left hand onto your chest, and use your focus of the attention to breathe into your right hand. Kind of just following the hand as it rises Noticing the stillness at the top and following it all the way down to the stillness at the bottom.
last breath in, last breath out. Inhale, come up gently, extend your left leg out and pat your hamstrings down. Well done. Place your pillow off your mat and inhale to roll up. As you exhale, lower down onto your back, bend your left knee, press your right leg onto your left with your toes flexed in figure four. Just a few breaths. You can either interlace the fingers at the front, hamstring, or just place it down. Find a comfortable spot, close your eyes, and breathe. We're going to do it just for a few breaths here. So really soften into the right side, flex your toes, and tuck your chin. And release. Switch your legs out. Right leg stacks on top of left. Flex both feet and find a good variation that works for you. Allow yourself to rest and relax. Last breath in, exhale to release. And we've got some options now. You can either move into happy baby, where you have either your knees or send your heels up, taking the outer blades of the feet and drawing out wide. Or if you are near to a wall, you're gonna get into a legs up the wall pose. I find it's easier to start by coming onto your side and press your sitting bones onto the wall, just like so, and then roll onto your back and extend your legs up the wall. Now, I'm not exactly looking at the camera here, but you wanna get as close to the wall as possible and have your legs straight up and relax. Tuck your chin, have your shoulders back, and hold and breathe. Now, it's a really great posture to help with inflammation. It allows just the blood to rush down. Let's see if you can really soften in here, just allowing gravity to do all the work. Try and relax your toes. And relax your hips and allow that sense of heaviness to get your tailbone onto the ground. Just allowing the exhales to breathe a sense of softness into your fingertips, into your palms and wrists and forearms. And surrender your shoulders and your chest and really let go of all the tension in your face and your neck. Now you are welcome to stay here if you like. We're going to be moving into Shavasana where we're going to lay onto our backs. It's always nice perhaps to get a little bit longer into this posture. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to move out. So you can roll out onto your side and you can just kind of shuffle your way 
as graciously as you like into your Shavasana. Having your toes out, palms up. Close your eyes, commit to stillness, take a slow breath into your belly. Exhale to release and relax. Well done. See if you can be in stillness and be with your breath just to wind your practice down. This sort of end integration phase is really, really important. It allows you just to be with your attention and just notice how your mind works and see if you can just gently and softly encourage the returning of your attention onto your sensations, onto your body or your breath. And this is normally a, perhaps quite a rapid process of kind of losing your attention and then bringing it back and losing it. That's a part of the training. It's a part of how, it's, how it works. And you'll find that over time, the space between those thoughts become longer and you will feel your mind quieten. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. I always encourage practitioners just to, to kind of be with your breath for a little longer than you normally would. And thank you so much for putting such amazing effort into your self-practice and to this channel. It's so greatly appreciated. And if you have any comments or questions, I will be in the comment section. It's always really nice to hear from you and to get to know you. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on your mat. Namaste.